Hey there, welcome over here to my kitchen. It is slow cooker season and I cannot get any more excited about it. So today I'm going to be showing you six new and easy slow cooker meals that you'll wanna make over and over again. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go get to slow cooking. We're starting today out by making this delicious, extremely simple taco soup. So to the pan on my stove, I'm adding one pound of ground beef. Go ahead and break the ground beef up and cook it through. Once it is completely cooked through, remove any excess grease and then bring the ground beef over to your slow cooker and add it in. Next, you are going to be adding one undrained can of pinto beans, followed by a can of kidney beans, a can of corn, a can of rotel, and then a small can of green chilies. The green chilies do not add any spice, but they do add a ton of great flavor. And then to season it up, I'm adding two tablespoons of taco seasoning, along with two tablespoons of ranch seasoning. Give this a really good stir and then put the lid on top. Cook this on low for about four to six hours. Here's my big bowl of soup. I topped mine with shredded cheese, lettuce, sour cream, tomatoes, and cilantro, but you could top your taco soup with any of your favorites. This is a great delicious meal my family enjoys. We're huge fans of French dip sandwiches in our home, so now that's what we're making. To my slow cooker, I added my three pound chuck roast. Right on top of that roast, I'm adding one onion that I sliced into thinner strips. And then I'm adding two cups of beef broth, next a fourth a cup of Worcestershire sauce, and one bay leaf. That is all you really have to do. Put the lid on top and cook this on low for about seven to eight hours. Now that my time is up, I'm just shredding it with my meat masher. The meat was nice and tender. So now to make it into our sandwiches, I'm adding a little bit of that shredded meat into a hoagie roll. And then I'm adding about two slices of provolone cheese on top. This is gonna go in my oven under the broiler for about one to two minutes or until the cheese is nice and melty. I served our French dip sandwiches with a side of steamed broccoli and then some of the au jus juice that the beef was cooking in. These French dip sandwiches are seriously just so simple to make and the flavor is out of this world. Now we're making these creamy chicken tacos that are only three ingredients, so you need to try this one. To the bottom of my slow cooker, I added two large chicken breasts. Next, right on top of those chicken breasts, you'll be adding about six ounces of cubed cream cheese. And then for the last ingredient, you'll be adding about a cup to a cup and a half of any type of salsa you like on top. This will cook on low for about six hours or until your chicken is completely cooked. Now that our chicken has reached the internal temperature of 165 degrees, I'm shredding the chicken up. I'm just making it easy on myself and shredding it with my electric hand mixer, or you could shred your chicken with two forks or a meat masher. Now that our sh chicken is completely shredded, you see how creamy and beautiful it is. I chose to serve mine in flour tortillas with a little bit of cheese, cilantro, lettuce, and cherry tomatoes, but you could serve yours on chips, kind of like as nachos or in a salad. Anything would be delicious with this creamy taco chicken. Nothing screams slow cooker season like beef tips and gravy. To my slow cooker, I'm adding 14 ounces of beef broth. Next, to add in one can of cream of mushroom soup, and then one of these packets of Lipton onion dry soup mix, and then you will whisk these three ingredients together. The last couple ingredients I'm tossing in are about a pound and a half of beef stew meat and then a teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. Break the meat up and give this a really good stir and then you will put the lid on top and this will go on low for about seven to eight hours. Once my beef tips are through cooking in the slow cooker, you are going to start on thickening the gravy up now. So to my pan on the stove, I melted two tablespoons of butter and then I added two tablespoons of flour. I whisked that together. Once the flour was golden, I added in about a cup and a half of the liquid broth from the slow cooker and I added that in slowly while I whisked it until it thickened up nicely.
After I added the thickened gravy to my slow cooker, I gave this a really good stir and then it was time to serve it up. This is comfort food to the max for me. I served it alongside of steamed broccoli and over a bed of white rice, or you could serve this over mashed potatoes or egg noodles. I really think you'll like it. Now we're making these extremely flavorful French onion pork chops. To my slow cooker, I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic and a normal can of cream of mushroom soup in. And then I added five ounces of water. I whisked this together really well and then I set it to the side. Into my slow cooker, I'm adding a half of an onion that I sliced thinly into kind of like rings. And then on top of the onion, go ahead and add your six boneless pork pork chops. On top of the pork chops, add the other half of the onion that you sliced thinly and then pour the cream of mushroom soup mixture on top of that. Next, add two tablespoons of ranch dressing seasoning mix and then add one packet of Lipton onion seasoning mix. On top of that, add a half a teaspoon of black pepper, put the lid on top. This will cook on low for about five hours. Here is the finished product. You know me and you know how much I love egg noodles. So I served this over a bed of egg noodles, but you could serve this with whatever you would like to. Those pork chops are nice, flavorful, and tender. Now we're making this cheeseburger soup and it's definitely a favorite for my husband. So to begin on my cutting board, I'm dicing one onion into smaller pieces. Next, slice two stalks of celery and shred two large carrots. Now I have my three russet potatoes and I'm going to peel them and dice them. After I tossed these veggies into my slow cooker, I added our seasonings. So I added two teaspoons of dried parsley along with a teaspoon of dried basil, and then add three cups of chicken broth. This will cook on low for about six to seven hours. After that time of cooking was almost up, I started on my one pound of ground beef. So I'm breaking it up right now and then I cooked it through. I removed any excess grease and then I added it into the slow cooker. I melted down three tablespoons of butter in the same pan that we cooked the ground beef in, and then I added a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. I whisked the flour around until it was a nice golden color, and then I added in a dash of salt and pepper. Next, you'll slowly whisk in two cups of milk. You do want to do this slowly just to ensure that the flour does not become clumpy. I added this mixture right into our slow cooker just like this. Next, you'll be adding either two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese or 16 ounces of Velveeta that you cubed. I chose to add in the shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I gave this a good stir, put the lid on top, and I let this continue to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it thickened up. Here's my bowl of soup. I topped mine with plenty more cheese on top and a dash of salt and pepper. Pepper. This really is the perfect cheeseburger soup and it is great for cold winter days. I have so many more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed down below the video so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.